Poor Chio. Maybe next time. Maybe next time you'll be able to have your date with Nozaki-kun. So, this episode, for the most part, I think this is personally one of my favorite episodes so far from this series because the series gets better and better by the week, and honestly, the comedy and the way this series really presents its characters makes it so much better. For instance, I really love Mikorin. Mikorin is probably by far one of the best main male characters in comedy so far from this anime season just because the way he acts I mean he says things that he never means to say like oh I'll be a nude model for you next time you call for me and then he gets all basically like, like that just oh my god that that is so great every time he digs himself into a hole I laugh my ass off because the poor guy he just he goes with the flow and he tries to put up a front and then at the exact same time he makes a mistake and says too much and so he really can't get his way out of it so personally funny very 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 funny now, let's get into the first half before I talk about the ending half first. So, the first half of this episode focuses on Nozaki trying to find a hobby. For instance, as you can see, he's a mangaka. I mean, this is obvious by now. He's a mangaka, he writes manga, and constantly we always see him just drawing, writing manga, and stuff like that. And so, this episode, they try to put a different outlook on Nozaki's character and to see exactly what he does when he doesn't have to write manga. For instance, when he's up to date, where he's finished and he has a free schedule, we see that he has no hobby like he ponders and sits in a chair he's like then I debate like my lack of hobbies that right there made me laugh so fucking hard because when you saw him just get like all depressed face and all that because he realizes he has no hobbies it's kind of upsetting because I mean you got to think about this manga work a lot Oda sensei if anyone knows who Oda sensei is from one piece he supposedly stated in an article more like a year or so back that he only gets like four hours of sleep a night and he works seven days a week he does to write a chapter and so you have to go figure I mean Nozaki probably has kind of the same time frame or any mangaka does and so how many hours they put into each individual chapter depending on how long it is if it's a weekly a monthly or whatever a bi-weekly it doesn't matter they put a lot of work and effort into it so pretty much as you could see is that no matter the mangaka when they finally have free time they're probably like what the fuck do I do like what do I do I mean I have all this free time I mean do I sit here do I write more manga I mean that's usually what I think most likely anyone do if they had like a schedule like that constantly working hour after hour and only having like you know work eat sleep work eat sleep that's exactly what Nozaki probably was doing and so you have to think about like it's kind of sad really so hopefully one day in this series he might find a hobby that he wants to do besides always focusing on his work because that's clearly all he did in this episode. He was using every little aspect that he was doing. For instance, when he was going on a supposed date with Chio, he kept looking at every different aspect as a part of his job. Like taking a picture of food for you can use for the next chapter, or going to a movie theater and trying to get references with the artwork, or going to a figure shop and finding out that Mikorin secretly loves buying by a Bisojo figurine. So, yeah, I have a couple figurines myself, so, you know, I can understand the passion for collecting figures. And so, I find it funny how you have freaking Nozaki disappoint Chio in this episode. And she's like, oh my god, I might find his preference, what he likes, what he likes of women. And she, she's instantly thinking of all sorts of different female characters in her mind. And then all of a sudden you have Nozaki just pull up a freaking male figure that he's going to use as a reference for his main male character. And I'm like, Nozaki. Nozaki, what the hell, man? It just... He never ceases to amaze me how far he's willing to go to troll Chio, really. You gotta feel bad for Chio. I mean, she tries so hard to have some form of romance with Nozaki, and it just does not work out. So, personally, tell me your thoughts about this episode, everybody. I mean, how'd you feel about this, Chibits? I mean, did you like the episode? Was this one of your favorite episodes from Gekong Shoujo? Let me know in the comments below, and are you excited for next week's episode? And what was your favorite segment of this episode? Out of all the segments, for instance, the first half and the second half, what was your favorite? Did you like the entire bitch with the posing with Mikorin or did you like the part where Nozaki you know was using too much work like he was focusing too much on work instead of hobbies let me know your favorite segment I love all of you so much you have a wonderful day or night wherever you live please be safe Chibi out